channel and thank you so much for watching so today I have for you my favorite kind of makeup look as always forever in all my life I always use this and this is my makeup tutorial for everyday routine this is my favorite kind of makeup look to use at night as well and in special events sometimes I just put a little bit darker the outer corner and that's it just previously if I'm going to wear this look in a daytime I apply some SPF to protect my skin and a moisturizer and that's it this is my look this is my go-to forever I love it so I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you want to see how I got this look stay tuned and let's get started so let's begin this makeup tutorial right now I just have a little bit of sun cream in my skin I'm not sure about what I'm doing with my hair today so yes I am without any makeup on here makeup is fashion makeup is fun makeup is art it's not a need if you don't want to so feel great about yourself and let's start a great day I just wake up and I like to start my morning routine with lots and lots of water this is amazing for hair skin and blah 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 and now I'm gonna exfoliate my lips a little bit you don't need to do exactly what I'm doing here and use the same product you can use whatever you have at Home. I'm using the lip scrub by Gerard Cosmetics in the flavor buttercream and I love it actually it smells amazing it's so easy to use and have amazing finish in the lips but if you don't have it don't worry you can use just a little bit of sugar and honey and you get basically the same result and now I'm gonna apply a lip balm to moisturize my lips while I'm doing my makeup this will make all the process of applying lipstick easier especially if you are going to use a liquid lipstick and also feels better when you have a long wearing lipstick in your lips so I always have to apply lip balm at least 10 minutes before I apply my lipstick and now let's move on to foundation I'm using my favorite of all life and this is the forever by Dior I have been using this foundation from many years and I can't live without it I just love so much the consistency and how it feels in the skin this foundation is medium to full coverage and feels like nothing in your skin I really love it to blend my foundation I'm using the 3d hd blender by sigma i'm using a damp beauty blender of course because it gives a more natural effect and don't soak all the product in the beauty blender so you have enough to apply in your face i use about two to three pumps I really love this beauty blender because I have more control when I want to create a contour in my face. Because of the corners, I can blend the product without blend too much. So I can have harsh blended lines, keeping the product where I want it to be. And the corners make so easy to apply in the inner corner. And the material of this beauty blender is amazing as well. And I'm gonna use Time Bomb Concealer by The Bomb. I'm gonna apply this product using a concealer brush. I'm gonna apply this concealer everywhere I want to highlight my face and under my eyes to cover my dark circles. I like this concealer because it's a full coverage but I have to use just a little bit. If I use more or if I apply a second layer it will crease and crease is so bad under my eyes so I use more to highlight my face. It's a cream concealer so that's okay. As everyday makeup routine it will give a natural and beautiful finish. As you can see the difference between the foundation and the concealer concealer is not so hard so I'm not using a lot of product as well I'm just blending the product in my face using the same blender as before also for a more natural effect you don't need to use a super different shade of concealer in this case I don't need to use a lot of highlighting shade I prefer to use just almost the same color of the foundation just a little bit lighter to create a little bit of dimension this is really important especially if you are going to school or something like that you want it natural as possible and now to set everything in my face I'm gonna apply the powerless primer this is just a fine translucent powder and mine is over already oh my god no I need more I really like this stuff because it makes everything look so natural and to apply this product in my face I'm using a powder brush by Sigma I'm gonna apply the rest left in my brush in my neck as well just to set a little bit I also apply it a little 
little bit of foundation there to balance the color so I'm gonna set as well and then to add more dimension in my face I'm gonna apply a little bit of bronzer and I wanna contour today using the same brush to apply the bronzer and I'm using the powder brush by Sigma because I already have a little bit of powder left on it so it will mix with the bronzer that I'm gonna apply in my face creating a more soft effect using this technique of use the powder brush with a little bit of product left on it and then mix with the bronzer or the contour will help to blend easier the product as well so you get a flawless and well blended skin without any harsh lines using just a little bit of product to contour my nose i'm gonna use just a smaller blending brush and then i'm gonna blend the same products that i am already using in my face Moving on to my brows, I'm gonna just fill in my brows using the products that I love. I have a full tutorial on how I do my brows and what product you can use. I'm gonna put the links here in the description box if you need it and other products as well. So with an uh, angled brush, I'm gonna mix the two colors together. Sometimes I use only the lighter shade and I'm gonna fill in my brows following the natural shape. You can change the shape a little bit if you want, but I like to do everything natural as possible. That's it for the brows, oh my god, look at the difference, wow, I love when I do my brows like this. And now moving on to my eyes, I have oily skin, so obviously I'm gonna use a uh, eyeshadow base, and I'm gonna use Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, I'm gonna apply this product using my clean finger all over my lid, blending really well, basically everywhere the shadows go, in the tear duct area and lower lash line too. I love to use this eyeshadow base because then I don't have to apply a lot of concealer to cover my dark circles as this eyeshadow base is a little bit yellow it helps a lot and then I'm gonna use the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay you can use any palette that you want or similar eyeshadows it doesn't matter and I'm gonna use almost every time the E25 brush by Sigma to blend all the eyeshadows that I'm gonna apply starting off with the eyeshadow closer to my skin tone I'm gonna apply this eyeshadow in the crease and outer corner and the rest left in the brush I'm gonna apply in the lower lash line then I'm gonna use a light lighter shade and applying the brow bone. I'm using all matte eyeshadows but if you want a little bit of shimmer that's okay. So here I'm adding a little bit of dimension playing with the colors in my brow bone and in my crease. And for my eyelid I'm gonna use the same color that I applied in the brow bone. This eyeshadow goes in the tear duct as well. Next I'm gonna use a darker brown eyeshadow to create even more depth and dimension in my eyes. And I'm using the same brush for everything. I'm gonna blend the crease and the outer corner in circular motions to avoid any harsh line and create a perfect blended effect the natural as possible then with a shader brush I'm gonna pack more color in my eyelid to create even more dimension And now move on to my lashes, I'm gonna use So Fluffy by Velour Lashes, I love this style so much because it's so natural and is a shorter style of lashes so it makes everything looks natural like the eyelashes is your own. And as you can see I'm having some troubles to apply the glue in the lash band but that's okay, in the end everything will be alright, I promise. 
Now that I applied the glue in the lash band, I'm gonna place the eyelashes in the roots of my natural lashes, just close as possible to the natural lashes, and this part is optional, you don't need to apply false lashes in the morning, but as I'm doing a video for you guys, I don't like to apply lots and lots of mascara, because I absolutely hate clumpy lashes with a mess of mascara on it. So in this case, I prefer to apply a little false lashes and much less mascara. But this is all about my preference. If you want, of course, you can apply lots and lots of mascara. The mascara that I'm loving and I will recommend to you is Full Exposure by Smashbox. I love this mascara. As you can see, the wand is so big, so it holds all the lashes and apply beautifully lots of mascara in your lashes without look clumpy, so you can apply two or three coats. So I'm gonna apply this mascara to blend my natural lashes with the fake lashes and I'm gonna try to apply in my bottom non-existent lashes as well just to complement the look. Now using a blush brush by Sigma, I'm gonna use the blush by The Balm and this is the shade Hudson Touch, it's so pigmented, I love this shade for my skin tone and in this look it will be so natural and beautiful. If you want something even more natural, you can remove the excess of the brush and then apply it in your face. Oops, now using this tiny brush by Sigma, I'm gonna just highlight the center of my face. As everyday makeup look, I know when I use a lot of highlighters, I'm gonna highlight my nose, my forehead a little bit, and my cupid's bow, just to give a pretty finish. And finally, for the lips, I want it natural as possible, I'm gonna use just a lip base by Sigma, you can use a gloss or any lipstick if you want, this is completely up to you. And the lip base that I'm using is Indulgent by Sigma. So that's it my angels, thumbs up this video if you like this tutorial, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more news and follow me on Instagram to see more pictures of my work. Also hit the notification bell here below so you make sure they're receiving all my new tutorials and I see you in the next videos, I love you so much, thank you for watching and for being here, I love all your comments and this is so special for me. Thank you so much again and I see you in the next videos, bye!